uh, US against China, uh, US against Russia, Europe versus America, and so on and so forth. But one thing is out of the picture, which is what's in there for you. So where is the real opportunity with artificial intelligence? What can be gained by the normal human being? So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about where I think there are three opportunities for, I wouldn't say the masses, but for a lot of people around the world. So the biggest opportunity that I see, the number one opportunity is obviously an opportunity that lives in the space of working for others, but as an intrapreneur. So the big opportunity today, in my opinion, the biggest opportunity is the intrapreneur. There is a huge disconnect in any company between the management that typically is being educated in some kind of, uh, you know, economics, some kind of, or they've been, even engineers have been educated many, many years ago, and they have completely missed the technology, the concepts, the math, the CPI, artificial intelligence, they have almost zero knowledge, completely, almost zero, if not zero in many cases, in many cases. And then there are the more technical data scientists, they know a lot about the technicism, but they have a very, very hard time to propose business, impactful business solution. So those who can live in between, they can create a bridge between the world of the decision, the top decision makers and the uh, technologists. These ones are the ones that have the largest opportunity. The opportunity is bigger when you reach out to people and you propose, um, for example, propose a project. I've done this recently. I, I've got several consulting engagements uh, recently in this area. And basically when you can connect uh, a high level business need with uh, the ability to execute technically and really deliver, that's where the huge opportunity is. And that's where I have designed all my courses and particularly my, my this course in product and process innovations because it's really there where the big money are. The, the, the ordinary companies, the medium-sized, large companies, medium-sized companies that are trying to um, improve uh, their operations, reduce their costs, uh, increase their revenues when they can. Um, these, uh, these companies, uh, they have a need for somebody that comes in and tells the management, okay, here's an idea, here's a direction, we could do it this way, we could do it that way. The second biggest opportunity that I see, and, and it starts to be uh, in the realm of entrepreneurship, but not, let's say, the Silicon Valley type of entrepreneurship, is more like the solopreneurs, the, um, you know, the marketing agencies, the uh, affiliate marketers, the online, I would say, the world of online, um, online entrepreneurs that have companies, you know, that run from just themselves to 10, 15 people working for them. Now, What's happening there, it's, it's very interesting because we have all these mega AI uh, systems that uh, were once the domain of large companies, like uh, for example, in the automatic bidding, in the advertising, where you can kind of reduce costs. So these uh, services now are trickled down, the cost is going down, and uh, they can be accessed by this type of companies. Things like, uh, Think of things like uh, what Amazon can do with uh, competitive pricing, uh, what they can do with uh, designing, predicting demand, what they can do with uh, things like uh, recommending product. So one area where I have a dream to create this, this mega company is, for example, the area of media. So think of media production. Think, think of this thing. Think of how beautiful it would be if, let's say, I want to produce a YouTube video today, I have to take the video, I would have to edit it, but maybe I have a media company that helps me in that, but they still invest a lot of money on work, and, and the amount of videos we can produce out of one video is limited. But think of it, what if we had an artificial intelligence that tells you, hey, I'm gonna do all the editing, I'm gonna eliminate all the bad things, and then I'm gonna give you some choices. You can, you know, you can extract three, four videos out of these things, three different compilations, then I'm gonna go all the subtitles um, right away. You, you might say, but this you can do it with YouTube, yes, but having everything in one single place, uh, all multiple technologies, 
I am gonna do um, the automatic editing of the subtitles. So I'll put the subtitles inside. It's not only the large company that can leverage these things, but it's the cost of leveraging these things is becoming lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So we, we could, all of us could become media publishers to, to an extent is much higher than what, what you can do today with YouTube or, or Pinterest. All of us can create automations within their companies um, uh, at, at an incredible pace. And, and very soon, we will be able to multiply our cognitive abilities to an extent that is really uh, imaginable uh, back in the past. And so, let me know. If you like this, I'll be uh, more than happy to do uh, more of videos like this. Okay, thank you so much.